In the observable universe, a supernova explosion occurs every few seconds when a massive star collapses. The Super Kamiokande, Super K, detector is collecting a steady trickle of neutrinos from those cataclysms, resulting in a few detections per year. The understanding of what happens inside a supernova is greatly aided by these neutrinos. Their ability to fly out of the star's collapsing core and across space is a way to provide information about any potentially new physics that happen under extreme conditions. Neutrinos are very hard to detect. Super K only detects a small fraction of those that cross it, as most travel through the planet like light through glass. Despite this, the detector has a decent chance of detecting neutrinos from supernovae, as the universe is expected to be full of them. When a star collapses, it releases a large number of neutrinos, resulting in what astrophysicists refer to as the diffuse supernova neutrino background, DSNB. A gadolinium-based salt was added to Super K's water during the detector upgrade. The gadolinium nucleus captures the neutron produced when an antineutrino hits the water, releasing a second, a telltale flash of energy. Super K physicists look for a rapid sequence of two flashes, one produced by the anti-electron and the second by the neutron capture. The clear appearance of real supernova signals will still take several years due to the presence of double flash signals from other neutrino sources, including cosmic rays hitting the atmosphere. Super K should have enough data to make a solid claim by 2029 when it's scheduled to shut down.